Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear friends, everyone agrees that education is important. But today we also ask, what kind of education really matters? Because teaching students to count is fine, but teaching them what counts, that's best. Today we are here in this important conference to hear and to discuss what counts for our shared future. And here it is in one word, innovation. 30 years ago, my parents taught me that in order to succeed, I have to be smart. Today, it's still true, but it's just not enough. It's not enough to have smart people. We need those smart people to build smart homes, smart cities, smart countries, and a smart world. Because we live today in an era of a revolution. In 2006, if you look at the list of the top 10 largest companies in the world, you would find five energy companies and one IT company, Microsoft. Only 10 years later, in 2016, in the blink of an eye in historic terms, it has completely reversed. Today, you can find five IT companies on that list and only one energy company. The true wealth is in innovation. And you know these companies, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook. All of them have R&D centers in Israel. And it happens for a reason. Israel is the place where big data, connectivity, and AI, artificial intelligence, meet. These three factors are the reason that old industries are fading away and new industries are emerging. Here is an example of this revolution in an area in which today we are cooperating and increasing our cooperation with Azerbaijan, agriculture. Israel always did agriculture, and we did it well. But today, the revolution has brought us to do something called precision agriculture. Imagine a drone flying in the sky, and on the field you have sensors, and next to those centers, sensors, you have drip irrigation technology, and alongside that, drip fertilization technology. The sensors detect the heat and the humidity and the information from the field, send it to the drone, who then transmit that information to the big data center he's connected to. And that, thanks to that technology, we can accurately provide uh, the, uh, ag the fertilization and the irrigation that are necessary down to the level of the every individual plant. That is precision agriculture, and that's Israel. And there's no reason why our Azerbaijani partners will not be part of this revolution together with us, which is why we are very happy that the uh, Minister of Agriculture has decided to visit Israel in the near future so we can bring cutting-edge technologies to our bilateral cooperation. What can be done in the field of agriculture can also be done in the fields of, generally in technology, but in health, renewable energy, smart cities, communication, science, education, and so much more. Azerbaijan took a very important step towards becoming a leading partner for Israel when it has, it has opened the uh, Trade Representative Office in Israel just a few months ago. And we would like to congratulate uh, Azerbaijan for taking that step, and we look forward also for the opening of the Tourism Office in Israel in the near future. We believe that together we can seize the future, because the future belongs to those who innovate. Thank you to the organizing of, organizers of the conference for inviting me and making me a part and Israel a part of this uh, very important conference. And I wish you the best of luck and all the best. Thank you.